UConn women's basketball made history last night. They lost their first conference game since the old Big East in 2013. That was 169 games straight in conference, regardless which conference it was at the time. That's just insanity and dominance. But let's be honest, the American wasn't as good in bas women's basketball and same with the Big East. So, you know, it just goes to show. But I want to digress into why did UConn women lose? Obviously, like, free throws were not an issue because UConn made five. They made all five free throws. And Villanova was four for 12 on free throws. But they did give up. UConn women did 25 points in the first quarter. Then 21 points in the third quarter. I mean, but UConn outscored them in the second and the, and the fourth quarter, 20, 19 points in the in the second quarter to 16, and the fourth quarter, 24 points to 10. So clearly not enough. And UConn and Villanova women, they may both made like 10 threes in the game. So it's clearly, and the rebounding was Actually, the difference, obviously, in this game, obviously, because Villanova had 37 rebounds to UConn's 21. That it, and I get that UConn has injuries, but nobody's going to feel sorry for you when you have injuries. I'm sorry. I mean, 16 turnovers for UConn to no, Villanova is 11. The, both teams had 34 points in the paint. Second chance points, like four points for Villanova, three for UConn. Fast break points, only three points for Villanova, four for UConn. Ben bench points was both two. So, as you could tell, there's not a lot of reasons why Villanova really won that game last night. It's basically simple to the fact. Defense. Villanova was 29 for 56 on made field goal, I mean, on shots, while UConn was 27 for 56. So clearly two shots, really technically one, if you include, if one of them was a three. That was the difference. UConn just couldn't defend, as you can tell. And the crazy thing is, UConn's got to play DePaul soon. So they might lose back-to-back -back games. But I definitely know, Villanova, you made history. And that was your first win over UConn in women's basketball since 04, I believe. That's just nuts. I just want to give some quick update and on that. And to say the history behind this loss for UConn in a historic mark. And like all winning streaks, they have to go to an end at some point.